What's up, Dankomies? Beam Sage here, and Borrow Key Tier has arrived on the Pluto relay right here. Uh, he's got stuff. Let's check out what he's got. Also, before we reach Borrow Key Tier, check out this Cyan Donna. Heck yeah. That's the Cyan Donna that comes with the Nidus Deluxe bundle. And this thing looks freaking sick. Look at it. Look at it. It's freaking beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. Also, look at the claws. There's like a claw skin too. And there's like eyeballs in the back of it. Uh, there it goes. Now you can get a good look at it. Look at it. And they like retract out. It goes for the Venka Prime. Uh, I don't really think it goes for anything else. I don't know if there's any other claw weapons in the game besides the Venka Prime. Because that's the only claw weapon that matters. But besides all that nonsense, let's check out what the, uh, the Square Man has. Stencil. Oh, this is like the wall outlines. These are like the wall lines, like like in your in your quarters. Heck yeah, yo. Okay, so this is worth buying, right? This right here, buy that for Orbiter Fashion Frame. Then we have Prime Quick Draw. Is that new? I think that's new. Yeah, I wouldn't really worry too much about this. That's like just reload speed. I get it if you've already gotten everything else, but it's really not worth it. Prime Target Cracker, get it, worth it, definitely worth it. Prime Slip Magazine, Magazine Cap at Sea. Mm, any weapon I can imagine that would actually use this probably wouldn't really be worth it. I mean, maybe the MK1 Kunai, because you guys know my MK1 Kunai is um, you know, on fleek, but I have a ribbon that I believe has Magazine Cap at Sea, so... And the, and the Syndicate mod has has a magazine capacity, so no, not not worth it. Primed heated charge. I can't really imagine why you'd ever use this. Maybe blast damage for like. But get it? Just get this and this. These two mods right here, they're they're the most worst. They're the most uh, worth it. The other two just uh, are meh. Prisma dual cleavers, get it? Worth it. If you don't have it, get it. It's pretty good. Uh, you can also use it with Atlas or Korra for the Syndicate mod. Uh, it works on their first ability. Very, very strong. We have the SO Prime armor set. It's pretty cool if they have uh, both the individual pieces and the full set. I would go for the full set. Definitely go for the full set. It's pretty good. Um, you'll use it on a lot of your Warframes. Uh, this, these armor pieces will last you a really long time. Um, Katira Cyan Donna, check it out. Check it out. I think that looks pretty sick. You know, to each their own. It looks like you're wearing a Baraki tier pelt on your back. I like it. It doesn't really work on Warframes with giant butts, though. Like, if you use it on Saren, it just, like, kind of glitches out. Then you have the Katir mask. If you want to look like Bane, you know, this is all for you. I think it looks pretty sick. Looks pretty freaking dope. You got a mantis skin. Looks like a, it's like a fork or a taser. You know, it's pretty cool. To each their own once again. Borrow Kitir fireworks. This is worth it. Get at least one. Go into the simulacrum, room, and then you have an unlimited number of these. And just like, like make your friends crash. Yeah, that's the whole point of these. Corrupted Bombard Spectre. These are pretty freaking strong. Unfortunately, you only get one use out of them. So is it worth getting for a hundred ducats? And that's for you to decide. It does come with the shield, dude, so that's also a thing. But uh Yeah. To each their own once again. And then the Sands of Anaros blueprint. If you haven't done the Sands of Anaros quest, do it. But when you do it, you want to scan the little monster dudes that spawn. Like, definitely scan those. You won't regret it in the future because you can spawn them and once again make your friends crash. So I bet you're wondering, Meme Sage, what do those cosmetics look like when colored? Alright, well, I'll show you right here. It's here. This is the Cyan Donna. This is with my color scheme. I think it looks pretty, pretty dope. 
Um, you can see like there's a little bit of bending there because Cora does have a really uh, thick derriere. Let's do some random colors. You can see there. It's pretty sick, pretty sick. All right, and here goes the armor set here. It looks kind of basic at first, but when you start to like recolor it, let's put some random colors on there. Oh, that looks really nice. Like if you put like a light color here, and what I sometimes do, I may like just overall get rid of the entire color, uh, energy color, like that. That way you get the shiny chrome below it. It looks like that. I think that looks pretty sick. But that's gonna be it for this Baru Key tier video here. And uh, in conclusion, Baru Key tier has some pretty good stuff. Some stuff worth farming, like the mods. Um, buying multiple of the critical mods can make you a fair bit of platinum. I think uh, without putting any endo on them, you can sell them like 50 to 60 plat each right now. So I think it's pretty, pretty worth farming so you can sell them. And the cosmetics are pretty freaking dope. But that's going to be it for this video. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to become part of the Dank Family Family, then go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace. All you can be certain about. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Even though life ain't the same. Say, say, don't change, don't change, don't change. Life gon' make it happen anyway. Say, don't change, don't change, don't change. Even though life ain't the same. Say, say, don't change, don't change, don't change.